All right, hey. So sometimes, as you're working, uh, the job gets a little big, and uh, my my weakling muscles are not sufficient for this. So I uh, I have to uh, use some uh, intelligent design, and uh, so yeah, this, I got a problem. The problem is this great big trunk. I could uh, saw it and make it smaller and make it easier to uh, handle, but. Uh, you know, uh, I don't. I haven't taken my inventory yet, so I want to be able to kind of uh, very intelligently cut these to the side that I need size that I need them. So um, here, what I got is a pair of log tongs. There we go. There you can see the log tongs. And this was just a cheap pair of uh, uh, hand log tongs. I didn't get the expensive kind. And these seem to be doing everything I need. <laughs> I attach the, the log tongs to a little bit of a nylon cheap nylon webbing that I bought in bulk. <laughs> and then I have this attached to a very cheap uh, block and tackle uh, mechanism here with four pulleys. So I have a little bit of a leverage. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I don't know if this is interesting uh, video or anything, but uh, here we go. We're gonna move a log a few inches. <laughs> maybe maybe a whole five or six feet we're gonna move this log. All right. All right, so I got the rope, see that rope? And I'm gonna put it around my waist, so the uh, the rope is around my butt. And then I'm just gonna, all right, ready? I'm just gonna sit down on the rope, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna readjust the rope, like this, and sit down on the rope. And readjust, and sit on it. And this is how I inch these logs. Up the hill. Ah. Yes. There we go. And I'd love to be showing you the, the, the progress that the log is making, but I can't sit on the rope if I look that way. So, ah. so I'm grunting here, but it's not too bad. You know, I can I can probably have a conversation you without grunting. I'm just ah. expressing the exertion. Ah. Here we go. Come on. Come on, log. Keep it moving. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. And the cardboard there, that's my future roofing material. Yeah. Or rather, to protect my future roofing material. All right. Come on. Whoa. Getting closer. The log is coming. Okay. Yeah. So, you don't need super strength. You just need some patience and willingness to do things a little slowly. If you're willing to uh, do things intelligently and leverage your, your muscles, you can get it done. So, that's just, uh, I guess, I find the rope and pulley, the block and tackle, to be kind of one of the funner aspects of this whole thing. It's kind of fun to see how oomphy the uh, the uh, multiplication of my effort is, you know? And yeah, it does take a little bit of time. There we're at the end of the block and tackle. So now I'll need to readjust this to a, a stump or something. My plan is to get this log here on top of this guy here so that he can match his friends and I get them off the ground so they don't rot and then I can uh, also uh, peel them a little easier. I can sit on them like they're a chair and yeah so for the next uh, hour or two until I get tired of this task and I'll go do another task. That's how I kind of do things. Um, I don't do one task for hours and it gets kind of boring, repetitive, you know. I just kind of mosey around and do whatever tasks need to be done, and I guess maybe as the project gets you know further along, I'll start doing the tasks that uh, seem to be the most negligent or neglected as uh, as it goes. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of logs. Right here is the site, uh, right there. So you can see the what's excavated there, and we got what looks like to be oh gosh, I don't know the name of that plant. I call it Mayapple. Oh, there's a bumblebee there too. That's pretty cool. 
Maybe he's looking for a place to to rest tonight or something. Yeah, look at him. Look at that bumblebee. Hey there, Mr. Bumblebee. How you doing? You're looking for a place to hide tonight. It's getting almost sundown. Yeah, you're looking to crawl around. You're just a magnificent pollinator. Hmm. Can't tell if you can see the bumblebee. But, uh, yeah, okay, so anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted. Uh, lots of, yeah, lots of maples as you see popping up this spring. Lots of leeks. Um, I haven't seen any, uh, any indication that my cover crop has popped up. That was about three weeks ago, so I'm... If the things got uh, to the ground, then they should start germinating, but maybe it takes a little while for them to get out from underneath the leaf cover. Maybe some of them haven't been underneath the leaf cover yet. It could have been a week or two before it got a rain. So it might be a little while before I see uh, the see the results of the, the cover crop seeds I put down. And uh, my friend lives nearby this site, so he can uh, he can let his uh, pigs down on the you know pigs down on the the cover crop and. They get some nice food out of it. He saves some money on feed, and uh, yeah, the soil gets built, and it seems like a win-win for everybody. So, all right, I don't know. I do all right. I'm trying to. Usually, in the past, I have failed to uh, fully document the experience uh, due to problems with um, iPod batteries, and uh, yeah. So this time, I'm trying to uh, really make sure that I get a lot of uh, documentation of the experience in. And if I'm doing a new task, um, I want to kind of clue you in and see, uh, just to kind of show you what's going on here. But uh, we got a lot of logs to move. <laughs> and then they're not all going to come up here today, but uh, I'm planning on various staging areas. And I think most of the limbing is getting pretty close. I'm like 70% of everything is limbed here. Um, so I've got a lot of uh, bark scraping still yet to do. Um, I do like that job. It is uh, meditative. The, the debarking but uh i don't know for some reason i haven't uh it's been less of a priority so far uh, maybe it's not as much fun maybe i like the uh, effectiveness the feeling of effectiveness i get from doing some of the other tasks but as i uh as i keep working i'll, I'll figure out what what the priorities are and what's de what's deficient and what i need to just kind of uh concentrate on i think that there is a gosh i wish i remember the book that uh, this came from, but there was, they described an idea of soul work versus bread work. I think that's the words they used to describe it. I know soul work was definitely one of the terms, and maybe bread, I'm not unsure about the bread work, but they talked about the need to do things that feed your soul, and then to do the things also that feed your stomach, and to make a balance of these things. You know, you do want to make sure that your stomach gets fed. Um, if all you're doing is soul work, then, uh, you know, you go hungry. Uh, on the other hand, um, you know, if you, all you do is bread work, well, your soul starves, right? That's not fun either. So, yeah, that's a kind of a philosophy I, I like taking into uh, projects like this. I like taking a, the philosophy of uh, do the soul work and the bread work. So right now, um, it's, it's a little both. Things are mixed. I'm kind of, but it's, I guess it's mostly soul work. I'm, I'm just doing whatever I feel like. I'm not doing anything because I feel like I have to. Or this, this has got to get done, so i got to go do that. Um, I'm just more like, oh, that sounds like debarking would be fun right now. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I'm looking at that tree over there. Maybe that needs to come down. Well, you know, these kind of these kind of thoughts. So as as I have an idea and have a thought that, uh, and I go do that thing, and you know, as you get as you work the, the tired muscles of one task, and then you move to another and work some different tired muscles. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I guess I'll get back to it.